Hey guys, NetQuill here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you the stuff that I'd essentially had been learning in college. I'm going to teach you about G-Code, or, well, specifically these videos are going to be more for reference. So if you already kind of know about G-Code, but you need a refresher and an explanation rather than just looking it up, I can give you that refresher. So today, we're going to talk about G0 and G1. Uh, a couple of the most basic codes in G code. So we'll just go ahead and write those down real quick and I'll explain what they do. So uh, let me make the font a little bit bigger and change that god awful font. Let's see, Times New Roman. There we go. G0 and G1. So G0 and G1 are some of the most basic codes. G0 being rapid interpolation and G1 being linear interpolation. So let me go ahead and write that real quick just for reference. Let me go ahead and stretch that out. And then we have linear interpolation. However, they both move up uh, interpolation. There we go. First thing you'll learn about a machinist is that we're all pretty bad at spelling. Uh, <laughs> so basically, rapid interpolation, when you put that into the control, it's now in a mode where the machine will move as fast as it can to get to any position you specify. So for, I'll give you a quick example here. So uh, G0, X one inch, Y one inch, Z one inch. It will move the machine as fast as it can to that location, which would be one inch from the origin in the X, one inch from the origin in the Y, and one inch from the origin in the Z. Now, where your origin is depends kind of on where your work offsets are set, but we can, obviously, we will cover that in another video. So, that just means that the machine will move as fast as it can. So, in some cases, I've seen it as high as 500 inches a minute. I've seen it as high as 1,000. Uh, you know, they, some machines go really fast. Some aren't super fast but g0 seems to at least with footnook mills seems to universally mean rapid interpolation i've seen it on well in fact i haven't seen a single machine where g0 means anything but rapid interpolation yet so linear interpolation is a little bit different this is the bread and butter of any G code program, it's what allows you to move around and do it at a set feed rate so that way you can cut the material because every material has a different feed and speed. So we'll go ahead and write down an example here. So G1, X, uh, two inches, F, five. So uh, quick real quick this feed rate right here that's what the f denotes is the feed rate any number after this is typically in a unit per minute and whether or not it's in freedom units it would be about five inches a minute or if it's the rest of the world it would be about five millimeters a minute but it entirely depends on how you have it set up or how your how the manufacturer of the machine had it set up when you purchased it so Basically, what this means is I want to move the tool to wherever it is now. I want it to move to X two inches in this case, because we are we're using inches, and I want it to move over at five inches a minute. So that would be the basics right there but it's important to note that it's not going to like move the wire or anything it'll only ever move the axis that you specify so if you don't specify a y uh for example if i write a program over here 
if I go uh, G0, X5, Y5, Z5. Okay, so now I'm at 5 inches, 5 inches, 5 inches. If I specify G1, X2, with a feed rate of 5 inches a minute, it will move the table over, uh, in this case, three inches. It'll move it over three inches to X2 at a feed rate of five inches a minute. But the actual position is would be X2, Y5, Z5. Because we never called up those specific axes, they never moved. And so that's what allows you to do straight lines. So... That was just a basic overview of G1 and G0. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. Of course, this isn't explaining what G-code is. This is more of a quick reference for people who kind of already understand it and they just wanted a refresher. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time.